Hey guys, Tyson with Golf Ascending here to talk about Tin Cup and the unique way of marking your golf ball. So let's get into it. All right guys, if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Me and Brady upload golf content every week and today we are reviewing the Tin Cup. Um, so what a tin cup is, um, you know, it's not the golf movie. Um, you know, these guys took the, I guess, the play on that to kind of get a little bit of marketing in there. But essentially what it is, throw that away there, is it's like this little tin cup, little tin hat that goes on a golf ball and you can mark your ball. Now, I actually got a pineapple here. The reason why is I'm a huge psych fan and the pineapple represents that. Um, but my interest in this really just came from, you know, sometimes it's just really annoying identifying your ball. Um, you know, everybody plays, you know, Titleist 1, Titleist 2, Titleist 3. And, you know, sometimes it's annoying to just put dots or write your initials on it. It's really hard. This way, you know, the idea was I could just stick a pineapple on my ball and I know instantly that that is my golf ball. Now, after testing it, um, you know, I, I actually got a green Sharpie to kind of go with the pineapple. Um, threw a whole bunch on there, tested a couple of balls just to kind of see how it would last, as well as if it actually made a difference in locating my ball. Um, and I'm gonna say right off the bat, you know, because it is a pretty decent size here, this pineapple really takes up like almost the whole side of the golf ball. Well, not quite, but it takes up a good chunk of it. I was actually able to find my ball very quick. There was no questions asked, like literally hit the ball, you know, maybe it goes a little bit out of bounds, not out of bounds, a little bit off, you know, the beaten path. And I'm looking around, you know, in some shrubs or some fescue and I see a ball and immediately I see that green pineapple. It's like, oh, that's my ball, no question. So, you know, as far as recognizing your ball goes, the tin cup definitely is unique and it is a good way to find the ball. Now, the problem that I actually found with the tin cup um, is the Sharpie just doesn't quite stay on the ball as much as I would like to. It's not as permanent as you would think, you know. As you know, playing golf, you know, where it lies, you might be hitting the golf ball right where the pineapple is, you know, or whatever logo that you have. And so, you know, repetition and, and keep hitting, you know, the pineapple or whatever logo it is, you might, you know, wear it off. And so over time, it just becomes, just for me, it became just this green blob. <laughs> and so, you know, maybe if it wasn't a pineapple, maybe if it was something, you know, a little more, generic maybe like an american flag or you know something like that with straighter lines that wasn't you know just so blobby it might look better but i can't really advocate for that because i've only really tested the pineapple now this tin cup you know for as small as it is and what it is it's 20 bucks now i know some people out there are like why would i spend 20 dollars when i could just grab a sharpie and just put a couple dots on it to you know signify that's my ball and i will tell you three dots is a lot less you know, you don't notice it as much as something like a pineapple or a different logo. So finding your ball or, you know, maybe someone else that you're playing with is playing with a dotted Titleist, you know? So it is that unique thing. So $20, you know, it's, I mean, I can chuck this thing around. It's, it's not going anywhere. It's got this little ring here. You could clip it to your bag. You know, it's probably not going to fall off, but, um, you know, that's, that's why I think the price point is what it's at is because, you know, you buy it once and then you can mark your ball forever. Now, one cool thing that Tin Cup does offer, and I actually haven't done this myself yet, maybe I'll do it in the future, um, but they do offer custom options, and that starts at $99. Now, for me and Brady's purposes, you know, if we wanted to get a Golf Ascending logo with this GA on the Tin Cup, we could very well do that, throw our uh, artwork into the, I guess, into their system, and they could uh, laser cut out or however they do it onto the Tin Cup. And me and Brady could have logo balls, you know, for as long as we wanted. Um, what's really kind of cool about that is, you know, generically, like speaking, if you were to buy a dozen Pro V1s with your logo on it, it's a lot more money. So if you just want to, you know, get some Pro V1s, buy yourself a tin cup, and, you know, just throw your logo or whatever, you know, your, your emblem on there, you can do that over and over again without paying that extra upcharge. Um, so that's something that's really cool about it. You know, is this something that I'm going to use on a day-to-day -day basis? You know, I'm not quite sure. Um, you know, I, you know, I, I like the fact that you can see the ball. You know, and that is my ball. You know, that pineapple ball is mine, no questions. But sometimes it's a little bit of a hassle. You know, drawing in there. And one thing I found with this pineapple specifically is in these little teeny grooves, it was hard to get the sharpie in there and to like 
make sure it filled out the entire pineapple. So, you know, in short, is it worth it? You know, I think, yeah, if you want to locate your ball, but just remember you might have to either retrace over it or, you know, toss a different ball out there and play with a new logoed ball. So that's my review on the tin cup. Hope you guys like it. If you uh, like the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up, subscribe. Me and Brady upload golf content every week.